Hello everyone and welcome back to the Introduction to C series. In this video I'm going to show you how to get set up to program in C on Windows and we're going to get started right now. Okay, so the very first thing that you're going to want to do is download a program called Visual Studio 2019 Community. This is going to be the IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, that we will use on Windows. This seems to be a pretty good choice for beginners because it is easy to set up and relatively easy to use. It's not perfect, as it its issues, but this is the one we're going to go with for Windows. So. To get this, you would head to visualstudio.microsoft.com slash downloads and download the Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition. It is a free download. It costs nothing. I, however, am not going to do this because I actually already have it installed. Once the installer comes up, however, there is an important bit to note, and that is you must have this desktop development with C++ option checked. Most of these other ones don't matter. I have some other things here checked because I do some web development stuff on this machine as well. But the important one is desktop development with C++. Universal Windows platform development is not required. It's kind of big, so I don't recommend you start off checking that one. You can always add it later if you find yourself needing it. But for right now, just use desktop development with C++. The installer for this will take a while. Once installed and launched, Visual Studio 2019 will come up with this start screen. So I've got some projects here that are blurred out that I am working on, but we are actually going to create a new project. Once you choose that, we're going to go with empty project, C++. So you'll want the language to be set to C++, the platform to be set to Windows. And you should see this one here that says C++ Windows Console. So select that, click Next. We'll call this C-Series, and I'll just leave the default location as is. Click Create. And here we have Visual Studio. So, so first off, we have our main editor area, which now has nothing in it because we don't have any files. We have our output window down here, and we have our solution explorer over here to the right. The very first thing we're going to want to do is right-click where it says C-Series, and we're going to want to go to Add new item. We want to choose C++ file, even though we're writing C. And we'll want to input main.c and make sure that the extension is C, not C++, to designate it as a C file. Click Add. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and enter in some code. Okay. So once we have this code entered, I'm not going to explain exactly what all of this is because we will get to that in later videos. I just want to show you guys how basically to use Visual Studio for now. So you can pause the video and simply type this in as it appears here and it will work. All right, so the next thing that I wanna point out is Visual Studio has this concept of solutions with projects. So solutions are sort of a grouping of projects. Projects are assemblies, which you can think of as executables or potentially libraries. For now, just think of it as the individual unit that we will use to build our program. So in order to build this, we can go to the build menu and click build solution. And note down here, we get some output that says build started, it builds main.c, and then build one succeeded zero failed, zero up to date, zero skipped. So this is good, we got no errors, we're good to go. If we do get any errors, they will appear down here. So what exactly happened here? Let's take a look at what was generated when we built. So I'm gonna right click C series and choose open folder in file explorer. In this window that comes up, this is a view of our various project files that Visual Studio creates. The main one we're concerned about is main.c. So if we go up one level, next to the C series folder, there's a debug folder. If we go into that, we'll see our executable. Now, if we were to run this as is now, 
it flashes and basically goes away. So to see what our program is actually doing, what we can do is we can click in this address bar here and replace the text that's there with CMD for command. This is the Windows command prompt. If we type cseries.exe, we'll see that it outputs hello world. So this is a simple way for us to be able to run our application and figure out what's going on. Now this is kind of a pain in the butt to actually run this way. Thankfully, Visual Studio gives us a cleaner way to handle this. So I'm gonna close these for now. What we wanna use is this local Windows debugger. However, you'll notice again, if I click it, it flashes and then it goes away. And it says program exited with code zero, which means it was a success. The problem with this is, is our application is running and immediately closing because it's so fast. So we need a way to actually stop the execution of the application before it closes itself out. So if we go to the debug menu and we choose start without debugging, whose keyboard shortcut is control F5, this will pop up a command prompt window that gives us a prompt that says press any key to continue to actually close it. So we can actually see what our application does. So you can either press control F5 or choose run without debugging. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and press enter. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. Click the like button, it helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.